In example one, we're going to determine if you can use HL to prove the triangles are congruent. The first thing you have to check for is that you have right triangles. And I can see here in our first example that both of those triangles have that 90 degree angle symbol. So since we know it's a 90 degree angle, we can check to see if we have hypotenuse and leg. I'm going to go ahead and mark the diagram up. When you guys do this in your interactive notebook, you don't need to write on your diagram. You'll just need to fill in the text boxes over here. Okay, let's check first for the hypotenuse. That should be the side across from the 90 degree angle, the longest side. Notice how both those sides are marked the same. Three tick marks and three tick marks. That means they're congruent. So we have hypotenuses that are congruent. Let's check if we have a leg. Well, the legs are just the other two sides. So here's a leg and here's a leg. So yes, we do have a hypotenuse and leg. And why these are congruent is by HL. You could also put in parentheses that we have a congruent hypotenuse and a congruent leg. Congruent hypotenuse, congruent leg, so we can go ahead and use HL. For our second set of triangles, we once again have two right triangles. Notice they both have a 90 degree angle. We also have this pair of congruent angles, but we don't have any sides marked. There is another thing we could add to our picture. We do have a pair of vertical angles here. So to mark the vertical angles congruent, you're gonna take those yellow circles in your interactive notebook and you're gonna drag those yellow circles to mark that you have a pair of congruent angles. But now I'm wondering, can I use HL to prove the triangles are congruent? And for this one, it's no. And the reason is you don't have a hypotenuse or a leg. We do have three angles, but remember that angle, 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 angle does not work for any triangle. It doesn't matter if it's a right triangle or a different type of triangle. Three angles congruent does not show that the triangles are congruent. It's possible for the three angles to be congruent, but for the triangles to be different sizes. For our last set of triangles here, you can see that the markings that we have there are the hypotenuse. Now notice there is only one 90 degree angle, but because these two triangles are forming a line together, they're a linear pair, we know that this angle is also a 90 degree angle. And if we go across from the 90, we have a hypotenuse. The hypotenuses are marked. Now the leg, you might think, well, there's no legs that are congruent, but these two triangles overlap each other. You can go ahead and mark that shared side, mark it congruent by dragging the green rectangle there onto that shared side. And now that's the leg. We have an L in both of the triangles. So these are congruent by HL. Add to your interactive notebook that we have a congruent hypotenuse. That was the ones that were already marked for us. And we also have a congruent leg because it's the shared side. Remember the property that we use, that a side is always congruent to itself. That's also called the reflexive property. So when we get into formal proofs at the end of this chapter, and we do the two column proofs to show that two triangles are congruent, if we're using the idea that a side is congruent to itself, a shared side like that, that's the reflexive property.